Good morning! Today is Wednesday. We are moving into the $20,000 Fixer Upper for Good for Keeps on Friday. Today is Wednesday. This week is intense. This week is emotional. This week is a long time coming. There is so much excitement this week. Like this, oh, I'm a little out of breath. All right, so today, <laughs> I have appliances being delivered, okay? So, I think the first thing that's about to arrive in a couple of minutes, I just got the call, the delivery was in route, is mama got herself a chest freezer. Now, call it old lady goals, I don't know, but I'm about to have three children and <laughs> myself and my partner, and I, I'm getting myself a chest freezer. I'm also an avid gardener. I'm pumped. I am pumped to own a chest freezer. Like I say, I, I didn't buy anything because I needed to make sure my house was livable. Um, and now that she is... I just feel like all my dreams are coming true. So, uh, my new life is a life with a chest freezer, and I could not be more pleased or excited for this appliance to arrive. Like, oh my God. Whew, I'm gonna be buying tater tots by the five pound bag. No more two pound bag of tater tots, I'm telling you. Um, we don't really eat a lot of meat. People usually, I feel like people use freeze a lot of meat in their chest freezers, but I'm trying to have fruit, vegetables, potato products, popsicles, frozen ice in case the power goes out. I can bring up a jug of ice and put it in my refrigerator. Like seriously, John grows basil every year and makes tubs and tubs of pesto and then eats it through the year, but it takes up, it's too much. It's too much for him to do this yearly batch from the garden in just a over the refrigerator freezer. So we got we got a lot of reasons we need a chest freezer. All right, y'all. It's the refrigerator. I done run this man delivering it. I thought he was because I'm having the chest freezer delivered. And I thought that's what was coming first, but it's actually the refrigerator. Y'all, I done got the refrigerator of my dreams of my dreams. Oh, it feels good to be at this place in my life. Um, so, yeah, I took him down on the side road to come in through the basement for the chest freezer, and then he pulled a refrigerator out. I said, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. That's in the kitchen. That has to go upstairs. So, he's like, all right, I'm just, I'm just gonna pull it up the hill on this dolly. I said, oh, oh, it looks heavy. He said, it's not that heavy. Anyway, he got it in here. And now he's circling back around because he's parked in the middle of the road. Now, part of this delivery service is that he needs to unpack it and take the packing away with him. I was, I'm gonna have to, I think I'm gonna have to remind him of that. And sometimes I'm not assertive enough, but I got enough crap on my plate that I pay for delivery. I need every service that that includes. I am with child. Seriously though, on another note, I might cry when I see this refrigerator unboxed. You might cry when you see this refrigerator unboxed. It is the refrigerator of my dreams. Refrigerator of my dreams. I'm so excited. country. I'm gonna get uppity. I'm gonna get uppity and I'm gonna tell y'all I got the cutest kitchen in the whole wide world. I got the cutest kitchen. 
kitchen that I've ever seen in my life. I love my kitchen more than any other kitchen in the whole wide world. I really do. <laughs> Look at this room when I painted these floors blue. Look how it works with the red fridge. Look how that works. I got one little red cushion. I got... <sighs> Look at this. And I know some of y'all thought that the gray on the wall, because some of y'all color lovers like me, and thought the gray on the wall was going to be plain, but it's not. It's a wonderful backdrop for all this other stuff we got going on. Uh, it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Like, I would need to have some professional pictures taken of this kitchen because she's making my heart sing. I'm overwhelmed. This is the week that you see stuff come together. Look, I got my little baby basket, my little rugs. Now, if you watched the last episode, you know I got a coffee table for this room. That's gonna go in the center of this rug. So we can sit around it. One thing I don't have that I want and need and will have, because I manifest whatever it is I want, poofs like low seating like moroccan like poofs to go around here for low seating around the coffee table we can play games jigsaw puzzles all that i got my little basket to put my little baby in oh what a lovely gorgeous house can't believe it's freaking mine Yes, you just scheduled internet connect to disconnect. And y'all know this is an old house that was run down and empty for over a decade. So they gonna have to like wire us in for internet. Um, but it's scheduled. It's scheduled. And I went back to my introductory rate of internet. Y'all know how that is with bills. So at the barn, for years, I had no internet. Like, at the barn, I literally just paid my electricity bill, my phone bill, and my rent. Car insurance, gas. Uh, because I had to save money, right? And so, then when John moved, he works remotely. And so, I had to get internet if I wanted John. And so, I had an introductory rate, and it was like 50 or $60.00. And it's obviously good for me because I was uploading all of my Way Crunchy videos at the library. That's where I was homeschooling Tom most of the time anyway. So, I'd homeschool him and upload videos. And then, it has been so nice to have internet the past couple of years. 
And so we're transferring internet. John has the same job. And um, <laughs> I've grown accustomed to the luxury of internet. So, um, yeah, we used to just watch DVDs on the TV. That was it. So it's nice to be able to watch YouTube on the big TV or Hulu. Hulu comes free with my phone plan. I got a free sign in. Anyway, um, yeah, got internet switched over. So, me and John, we both like cool stuff. This is like a little antique cola thing that was in John's stuff that hadn't gotten unpacked. And it just goes so good in the kitchen and with the red fridge. So, I'm going to put it up here. I mean, I'm sure it's lead paint, you know how antiques are. But it'll look really good up here. Out the way. Yeah. Oh Lord, I've been washing dishes. Everything we got new, you know, I like to give new things a little wash before you use them. Yeah. Leaf is up there, cookbooks, cuddle of thing. I am still waiting for this freezer, but it is just so nice today. I'm doing a little porch cleanup here so that this will be ready for porch sitting when we move in. 2.30. I'm definitely not as peppy as I was this morning, that's for sure. Um, I do hate waiting around for people to arrive at undisclosed times. It is a pet peeve of mine. I do not like it. I need a schedule. But when the refrigerator came first thing this morning, it just spoiled me. It just spoiled me. And I was so happy and I was riding the high from that. And now it's 2.30 and I'm waiting for this chest freezer. And I'm a little sad because John was supposed to order a stove. But he hasn't ordered the stove yet and this would have been a really good day to just have all the appliances delivered if I was going to be waiting for men anyway but yeah the day is dragging on I am losing enthusiasm everything looks great but just keep working, just keep working. I feel like my work could be better spent at the barn, but like they gave me like seven minute warning they were about to be here for the fridge and I just don't know when this freezer is getting here. Um, so y'all seen me wait for people before. It drives me nuts. It's like something psychological about it just drives me nuts. What a little depressive fool I am. I get so forlorn. He, I was just filming that, and he's here. He's here with the freezer. This is, I'm ridiculous. He's here. I don't have to wait no more.